So what we're seeing here, um, as Sharon mentioned, the club um, <clears throat> uh, received a grant from the Kerangamite CMA to conduct remotely piloted aircraft, otherwise known as drone surveys, with the highly skillful and proficient Richard Shelton, a licensed operator of uh, Rudy Lake to learn more about the water bird uh, breeding events. And uh, I would be the first to say that um, it was a, a learning, ex a very definitely a learning experience for both uh, Richard and myself. It was done in conjunction with professional water level surveys by Guy, Guy Dutson and uh, also by the Arthur Isler Institute people. Uh, and also I might add much volunteer effort by uh, Geelong Field Naturalist Club members. <clears throat> um, it is a work in progress and there is lots of uh, <clears throat> um, footage of, uh, of the, the ortho photos and things to go through, but there are only so many volunteer hours that you can spend on it. Uh, but we were able to confirm that at least 500 probably 800 and possibly as many as 1200 nesting pairs of straw-neck ibis. Also, there was breeding of uh, white ibis, royal spoonbill and magpie geese, and also strong circumstantial evidence of the breeding of Australasian bitterns with two uh, juvenile, two juvenile bitterns cited um, as, the, as the water level was uh, being managed in, um, in February this year. Uh, and so thank you very much to the uh, to Rob Bone, especially who I worked with very closely. And there was also a lot of things I learned about um, <clears throat> applying for grants. <clears throat> so um, yeah, if we watch the the rest of this, <clears throat> oh, this is going out over big hole to the uh, to the left hand side of the of the image and then we're starting to do a bit of a run there's one of the rotors of the drone coming in on the left there uh, you can see here some of the uh, the nesting birds uh, another thing that Richard and I learned was the uh, the height at which we needed to keep the drone so that there was no um, no adverse influence on the birds and that their uh, their movements were uh, were due purely to their own volition rather than in response to the uh, remotely piloted aircraft. So you can pinpoint here a number of the. Uh, the nesting um, sites. Uh, most of these are uh, clearly straw neck divers. I might add, as we're going through here, um, that this will be, uh, with Graham's help, this will be put onto the Geelong Field Naturalist Club uh, YouTube channel and will be linked to the Corangamite Management Authority um, website as well. And if you're watching carefully here, um, you will see at least three magpie geese that are uh, startlingly different uh, in their flight pattern size and uh, colour patterns um, come in from the, uh, from the left or thereabouts. <clears throat> There, there they are there. There's, there's three magpie geese flying off there.
much stronger, more deliberate flight, bigger birds with the black wingtips and the white across the back. There they are. There, there's the magpie geese. <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Graham. And there's a, a pelican flying off to the right. Thanks, Graham. And here we come to a uh, uh, a significant uh, group of of predominantly straw-necked ibis. <clears throat> Some of the things that we did learn um, and that we would want to inform for next time was that we do need a bit more ground truthing as to what stage the birds are up to with their breeding or um, some ground truthing and then understanding what those images look like from the drone. For example, way back in March when we were, March 2020, when we finally got the permit come through, it came through and then um, we were locked down and then our permit um, ran out. Um, <clears throat> Richard and I did a little bit of ground truthing with, um, well, we can see Australasian swamp hens over there. What do they look like from the uh, from the uh, from the air? Deborah's asking a question. The club might have to buy a boat. Um, that, yeah, dare I just say that's easier said than done with the all the attendant OH and S issues, but that might be something we can uh, we can look at, but. Um, So now this is, uh, again, uh, Richard and I, uh, this was on our last morning together in mid-December. Uh, mid we, we said, well, um, or I, I suggested that it would be great to have a, um, an, a promotional orientational video, which is, this is the, uh, the product of that conversation and a couple of practices. So we're now flying off towards the uh, east southeast. And now you can see that circle coming into view with a couple of white objects. The white objects are our vehicles, and that's the uh, the inundated turnaround at the end of Fitzgerald Road. And then, of course, the next body of water you can see is that big uh, blind um, channel that goes up to the northeast um, from Lake Conawari. <clears throat> 